So I picked up another avenue for deer hunting uh, the other day. Uh, I was out in the woods with my uh, inline uh, muzzleloader, uh, but because of work schedule, I only got two days to go in the one week that we had here in Pennsylvania for the inlines and uh, hadn't connected. And so as I was leaving the woods, I looked up and found a crossbow on sale at Walmart. And you can see here it is a Barnett Jackal. And um, I should get close to a month extra hunting here in November. And also, I believe it's about a month after uh, Christmas as well. So again, Barnett uh, Jackal is a 150 pound draw weight, it has Easton arrows in it and a red dot sight on it. And of course you got the label there from the store in the front uh, covering up the uh, picture of it. Um, it. Says display only because they had to go in the back because it was the last one there. It was brand new in the box, but um, they only had one available. Um, it was normally retails at $300 and it was for $198 that day. So I picked it up, um, picked up a couple extra arrows too, or a couple extra bolts. Um, they're 22 inch and I think the ones in here are 20 uh, inch and uh, I bought those specifically um, to run with 125 grain points which I will see whether or not that's appropriate. Oh, on the back here you can see here's a picture of the bow assembled because in this video I'm not going to get to the point where I get it assembled. Right there's our uh, crossbow assembled so it looks very nice and let's open it up and see what we've got for this out of the box review. Yeah, let's see here once I'm doing it this way because the Sun's right over here and I'm trying to keep this so there isn't a bunch of shadow actually on the uh, crossbow itself so there's the arrows and as on the box um, they are Easton arrows custom carbon headhunter they look very nice I might see if I can get more of these um, I did notice in the manual too you can actually fire these bolts any way you want to because they have this knock in the back here that I guess it's whatever you call it un or uh, multi-directional Whereas the ones that I picked up um, are only one, so you got to put the uh, red vein down, as I understand it from the instructions. So, um, sights for this bow are a red dot. Now, I've never used a red dot before, so this should be interesting. Now, as you can see here, if you can see that, it looks like there's red numbers on here and green numbers on here, so you should be able to do red or green. I know I looked up and the batteries actually for this are the same batteries I use for my remote for my uh, Honda Accord, so I should have uh, plenty of batteries left uh, around here, so I'll carry one extra one in the woods. Oops, things don't blow away here, and hopefully the uh, gold retrievers that I have don't uh, start walking off with things. So there's the sight. Let's put that over here to the side. Here's the actual bow. And there's the uh, safety and everything that's on there. There's the latching mechanism, it looks like, for that. Um, this here, caution. Um, I do work in the operating room. I've seen a couple people so far. Um, one young girl in her teens and an older guy actually shoot their bow like this, and it took the uh, tip of their fingers off. So that uh, warning definitely is something to be very concerned about and very, um, well, just, just don't stick your fingers up there, basically, is what it comes down to. Looks very nice. Let's have a look at the um, actual arms here. There's nothing else in there. Here's our manual. Looks like our bow wax. The bolts to attach thing, the arm width, and it looks like a couple wrenches. And I think they're 100, 100 grain tips there as well. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, the uh, minimum weight, according to the manual that I read online, is 425 grains. So my uh, bow, my arrows that I got here, 325 and 125 will give me 450 grains. There's the quiver that's included. That mounts underneath the bow. Looks like it holds three arrows, three bolts. I keep saying arrows because I've never used a uh, crossbow before. Here is the front uh, limb, I guess you would call it. And there you go, Barnett Jackal. Oh, it looks very well made. Everything's nice and waxed and everything here. So I'm going to do another video once I get it together, or maybe as I'm putting it together, to show you how everything goes to, uh, is assembled. And um, well, it looks very nice. I'm very happy to get it for basically $200. And um, keep tuned here. Probably won't get a chance until another uh, maybe two weeks from now to actually do another video on it. But um, that is the opening the box um, Barnett Jackal review. Thank you very much for watching and out. Thank <laughs> you.